Well, hello there, person. Let's check out what's new with Wraithbinder. This week has been working on power-up chests. These are really fun. So I got a little section of the map here. There's four of these power-up chests. Let's uh level up a little bit so we can get the Skybot and build a bridge over to it. We need some matter points to create a bridge here. Here we go. A couple of these little bridge. Boom! Now we can get over to this power-up chest. So, um, the way it works is, at first I had these so you could just go and... It would spawn an item every 30 seconds or so, and you could just go pick it up. And uh, I realized, you know what? It'd be nice if, as a player, you would have to work a little bit for it. So, it's just something simple, but you have to hold the button to open up these chests. And it makes you work a little bit, so you feel like uh, you did something. You feel like you get the reward for uh, the item by, you know, by your actions. So this just spawned out a, a health item. And I'm going to go ahead and just delete or damage myself here with a with a debug command. And then I'll pick this up. And you can see, boom, we got 50 more health. That's pretty nice. And this chest closed itself up. So it, after a while, it closes itself back up and refills itself with another item. Let's see what we get this time. Oh, this time mana, or matter points, as I like to call them. But sometimes, sometimes you're going to open up the chest and there's going to be a whammy, a bad item. And I got lots of plans for some fun whammies. I really want to do some, some like, some kind of like rain that is damaging, like acid rain or fiery rain or, you know, those, those kinds of things. But for now, I've just got some grenades. Let's see if we get a grenade here. These, these are really funny. Oh, there we go. Grenade. Sweet. Boom. That was really lucky that we got all three of those items one in a row. Because it's random. Okay, so there you have it. We got some new items uh, in, inside chests. Those are really fun. Um, and another the things I've been working on this week are the AI. So I've finally gotten to start to improve the AI and get them to build buildings. Um, and also just general improvements to their pathfinding and w what they explore and things like that. So let's go ahead and set up a little bit of a little bit of play here with four. Let's do two cameras. Uh, we'll just do three bots on this. Now nah, we'll go ahead seven bots. Um, skipping the menu. Not all abilities. Render verbosity is off. Okay, let's play it like this. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna sit still. Let's just let let's just watch the AI play. Uh, we got on the right side of the screen is the AI named Russ. Russ is really short. Um, okay, he's going over here. He's attacking Cat. Cat and him are having a little battle here. Let's see if they're gonna build any buildings. So, so far, the, the AI I've programmed for building buildings is just completely random. I wanted to test out to see if I could just get them to build buildings at all. And, you know, implement those simple mechanics at first. And we've got that going. So, eventually, these guys are going to just build some random buildings. But they're really just at, in the middle of nowhere. They're just like, eh, we'll just put a block here. Or, uh, we'll just build a bridge there. Um, so, I have some ideas on how I can improve how smart they are about what they build and where they build things. Actually, what I want to do is create an entire grid for the entire uh, battlegrounds that has, you know, sm what would be a smart item to build at this point? Um, you know, like maybe over here or in the sky that leads to where those items are would be a great place to build a bridge. So let's go ahead and mark that area as... Um, being a, br a place that would be nice for the AI to build a bridge, and then the AI can test, hey, what's a good item for me to build here? And am I in the mood for building a, a building? And do I have enough matter points to build the building, etc.? So far, he hasn't built anything yet. This is weird. Oh, oh, it's because he doesn't have the Skybot ability yet. So you have to have the Skybot ability. Ah, uh, see, so, so what I was doing um, all week to test this stuff was I implemented this thing, this, this little debug um, feature called All Abilities, and it basically puts, it starts off the match where you have all your abilities. So right now he only has the punch, the shield, and a bow. So that's why he's 
he's punching, he's using his shield, and sometimes he's gonna use his bow. It depends on how there he's goes using he's using his bow right now. Let's see if these these guys get some some of these guys get the skybot ability. Come on, get the skybot this time. Oh nice! Yes! Lucky! I just said it, it just happened. That was crazy. Alright, so he's building the skybot. Or he's gonna get skybot here with his automatic ability upgrade. There we go. Now let's see if he builds some stuff, or what he's going to build, randomly. I'm sure it's going to be super just unintelligent. Shooting his bow off. He's low on health. Is he going to go search for some... Uh... Oh, that guy's on his team. He might go back to his base. Is that him going back to his base? That would be smart. No, it can't be. That's all red for him. Okay, so he went to an enemy base. Oh, now he's attacking some creeps. Sweet. So that's one thing I did work on this week, was making sure they don't just randomly walk by creeps, but they go ahead and attack them. Um, yeah, so, gosh, in, gen in general, I'm very happy with how the improvements to the AI this week have made them more intelligent in general. Um, just like, especially how they just, they, they focus on what's important. Uh, when there's an enemy nearby, they attack it. If they're low on health, they, there we go, he finally built a building. All right, that was fun. I like, I like seeing him build a block right there. I think his Skybot might be the wrong color. He has a Skybot, but it's red on his screen. Oh, we crashed. Okay, so there's this voodoo crap. Voodoo assertion failure. I can't figure out what the heck is going on here. Um, I'm seeing some, some of my uh, components, like... Uh, they're just like position components, render components, things like that. They're showing up with random data. Like the unit is just a value that you it should never be. The unit is always either one or a thousand. Um, and for some reason, I'm just getting random data. Like so, that's weird. But uh, there you have it. That's what's new with Raidbinder this week, and some and some ideas on where I'm going to be heading next week. So thank you for watching this video, and we'll catch you next time.